Well, if you've ever been to a Florida Welcome Center, you've likely seen the free orange or grapefruit juice that's offered. Well, now that's gone. And as Mike Vasilender reports, the fate of the state's Welcome Centers is in doubt. Lawmakers are preparing to battle over whether to keep funding Visit Florida, which runs those stations. Nearly 900,000 visitors walked through the doors of this welcome station last year on I-75, just south of the Georgia border. These days, more often than not, they're asking this question. But the free orange and grapefruit juice is gone. A half million for the juice was vetoed in 2015. Florida's orange growers picked up the slack, but smaller crops and disease have cut their harvest and profits. No always step for the orange juice. There's no orange juice. We're told that taking selfies with the no juice sign has become very popular here, but these welcome centers face much bigger problems than no free juice. One of the hottest battles this coming legislative session will be over the $50 million of funding for Visit Florida. That's the state's tourism arm that runs the centers. Fiscal conservatives believe that people come to Florida, well, because it's Florida, and that the money for promotion is just wasted. How unnecessary it is. But supporters of the $50 million say that Visit Florida is most valuable when there's trouble in paradise. There are certain things that we do have to message and mitigate. For example, whether it's Zika that cost... Uh, um, our tourist industry millions. And Florida Tax Watch calls the tourism promoter a good value for taxpayers. Because advertising often works. And because the fight over Visit Florida's money is going to be so bitter, it'll be the end of the session before it's solved. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. Visit Florida initially came under fire for spending millions on TV shows that were only shown in Florida. But under the leadership of former Tampa State Senator Dana Young, supporters believe the agency has righted itself. And the governor has included $50 million for Visit Florida in his budget proposal.